There was a couple from Texas who were planning a weekend trip to across the Mexican border for a shopping spree. The last minute their babysitter canceled, they had to bring along their two-year-old son with them. They had been across the border for an hour when the baby got free and ran around the corner. The father tried to find him, but he disappeared. The mother found a police officer who told her to go to the gate and wait, not really understanding the instructions. She did as she was told. About 45 minutes later, a man approached the border carrying the boy. The mother ran to him, grateful that he had been found. When the man realized that it was the boy's mother, he dropped him and ran. There was the police waiting for him. The boy was dead. In less than 45 minutes, he was missing. He was cut open and had all of his organs removed and was stuffed with drugs. The man was going to carry him across the border as if he were asleep. And that, my little pretties, was Across the Border. A um, creepypasta written by Yuki. Um... Yeah, Yuki, I think that's who I think that's who the offer is. I mean, it says say in one of the n videos of someone narrating this story set, so I'm going to go with that. My final thoughts on this story? Okay, so I think this one has to be like a really weird and confusing story like at times. I mean, I like it, but I do have to believe that there is some few things I have to say about this story. Now, for one thing, it seemed to be a pretty good, you know, concept of, you know, what it was. But one thing I have to, another problem, one problem I have to say is that it's too short. I really wish the author could, you know, maybe have it a little bit longer. Because then that way we have more explanation or something. Because I think, to be honest, the only, the other issue I have to say was that the boy was actually dead and he was cut open, having all of his organs removed, and he was stuffed with, you know, drugs. Like, I mean, that's really messed up, to be honest. Like, oh my god. I mean, I didn't like the fact that the young boy was killed. You know, I don't I don't really know how he was killed. Like, this man, could it be possible he must have kidnapped the boy, killed him when his mom and dad weren't looking, and then all of a sudden, you know, he's turned out to be dead? I mean, why was the man going to carry this dead boy across the border as if he were asleep? Like, why? Like, there's absolutely no reason why, why it's, why this man would do that. Like, there's no explanation for that. It's just thrown in there for the sake of throwing it in there. I mean, yes, it's a decent story. I mean, it could have been better, but at the same time, I really don't know. I mean, I'm really not sure how this story would, um, do this. And I mean, uh, I don't really know why this story really had to sit there and throw, you know, unnecessary stuff in there. Like, I mean, one thing I would have to say, the parents would have to, like, keep a close eye on their child. But when their child, you know, um, got free and ran, they should have ran after the kid. I think it's most likely maybe the parents fault for, you know... Not sitting there and, you know, keeping a close eye on their kid like that. I mean, I'm not trying to sit there and be, be rude or anything. But I'm just stating the fact that, you know, this is kind of why parents nowadays should really keep an eye on their kids. Because you never know what's going to happen to their kid. Like, I'm sorry, but this is the honest truth here. This is the God honest truth that I have to say. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, there's like... I mean, the story does have, like, a good concept and all that, but unfortunately, it just didn't really work. I mean, the story could have been longer and all that, so that's one thing I would have to say is that the story could have been, you know, longer. But unfortunately, that's not really the case. I mean, I'm not trying to sit there and, you know, be rude to the offer. I mean, this story was actually quite decent, but unfortunately, it just wasn't that great to begin with. I mean... Most stories were just, oh god, I mean, sorry if you're hearing that in the background, my dog's begging to get out of my bedroom, so, yeah. I mean, this story was honestly, ugh, I don't, don't I just don't even know anymore with this story. I mean, the grammar is good, 
Although, here's a few things I would have to suggest if the offer wants their story to improve. One, I would appreciate if the offer sat there and, um, make it a little longer. Have more explanation on what happened to the young boy and why was he killed, how he was killed. Well, I know it kind of did explain a little bit, but it didn't really explain enough. And another thing I would have to say is that maybe make it more realistic in a sense than just sit there and do that. I mean, I'm not trying to sound harsh or anything. I'm just stating some facts. I mean, overall, it's a decent creepypasta. Maybe not the best one I've seen, but I've seen some better ones. I mean, this is an okay one. I mean, I'm not I'm not mad at the story or anything. I just really pointed out some issues with the story. I mean, the grammar was good and same with the sentence structuring and the paragraph structuring. But I mean, the story just mainly dumps a bunch of questions on, you know, what happened in that. Like, I mean, I really would have wished that it was, you know, longer, have more explanation and all that. But that's the, mainly the only reasons. But as long as the other ones did, I did explain earlier. Okay, like I'm going to say, um, this is simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to disagree with me, that's fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these creed pastas. This is simply my own personal thoughts. My final rating of this story, I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. It's not a bad Korean pasta. It was actually decent. It has a really good, you know, what's going for. But the story is too short. The um the reasons of how the boy died, it wasn't really explained properly. There was barely any to little to no explanation at all, and etc, etc, etc. I know I'm saying that over and over again, but still, that word, but... Another thing I have to say is that there is no explanation to why, how the boy died and all that. I mean, I could definitely say the parents need to keep a close eye on the kid at the time. But yet again, that's here or there. Anyways, what did you guys think about this creepypasta? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what you have done person to help make this story a lot better? Feel free to leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're new to this channel brand new here to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the outro because I'm out.